Typically at IFA, we get the opportunity to go hands-on with a variety of new smartphones, but one of this year's most exciting announcements at the trade show is something just a little bit bigger. Say hello to the next generation ThinkPad X1 Fold from Lenovo. That's right, the long-awaited successor to the original ThinkPad X Fold has finally been unveiled. And we've partnered with Lenovo to give you a closer look at this new product for a category that Lenovo introduced to the world back at CES 2020. Now, as the name implies, the next generation ThinkPad X1 Fold is a huge step up when compared to its predecessor in pretty much every single way. Since it's been more than two and a half years since the first one was released, Lenovo's had quite a bit of time to refine the hardware and the overall foldable PC design itself. Not only is the new device thinner than the original, but it's larger as well with a new 16.3 inch display. But the bezels around that display are noticeably thinner at just 10 millimeters and feel a lot more durable than before. Like the Motorola Razr, this new ThinkPad X1 Fold uses a teardrop fold design, which means it folds completely flat without a gap unlike the device that it's replacing that used the space between the folded display as a storage slot for the keyboard. This time around, that detachable keyboard can be pulled off and stored on the back of the device magnetically, just like the stand. But the new tighter radius of the teardrop folding display means the new X1 Fold is substantially thinner as well. It's just 8.6 millimeters when unfolded and a mere 17.4 when folded up like a notebook. For anyone keeping track, that's about a 10 millimeter difference, which is pretty substantial when compared to the original, which was 27.8 millimeters thick when it was folded up on itself. Of course, the new foldable display design of the next generation ThinkPad X1 Fold allows for some extreme versatility in a variety of different use cases. In the classic clamshell mode, you still have a good 12 inches of usable display while using the on-screen keyboard at the bottom of the display or with a detachable keyboard placed over it. This is perfect if you're on a plane or just crammed into a small table at a coffee shop. But if you do have a little bit more room, you'll definitely want to take full advantage of that beautiful 16 inch display by propping it up using the detachable magnetic stand and using the ThinkPad Bluetooth TrackPoint keyboard to get work done. The stand allows you to use it in traditional landscape mode, but you can switch it around to portrait mode if you have long documents to read or edit. And of course, there is a traditional tablet mode, which works great if you want to sit back and enjoy your content on your couch, though a 16-inch tablet is a little bit big. But the book mode comes in really handy in these situations as well, especially if you're using more than one app at once. With up to a 12th generation Intel Core i7 processor, Intel's Iris Xe graphics, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, and a maximum of one terabyte of storage, performance on this device shouldn't be an issue for anybody. Lenovo's also designed a unique thermal system here with folding graphite sheets to ensure that the fanless system stays as cool as possible. With the many ways that you can use the next generation ThinkPad X1 Fold, you won't have any excuses not to be productive. That being said though, the 16 inch display also comes in quite handy if you wanna slack off for a little bit by watching a movie or even just playing a game or two. Lenovo's also put in a lot of work to minimize the overall carbon footprint of this device as well by using 100% recycled plastic bottles in the creation of the woven plastic panels for the back of the device. While it did take quite some time for the original ThinkPad X1 Fold to make it to market after it was unveiled, this new device will be shipping a lot faster. Lenovo will start selling the next generation ThinkPad X1 Fold starting in November at a starting price of $2,499. And while that may sound a little bit steep, it's honestly a small price to pay for a device as unique and versatile as this. For more coverage from IFA 2022, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.